The video game industry is enormous. More than 2 billion people play video games worldwide, which is about 26% of the global population. The total annual revenue from Hollywood and all American athletic events combined still won't be enough to top the profits from the digital gaming sector alone. Every year, companies like Sony, Microsoft, and Activision make billions of dollars from the sale of video games and related goods. However, because of blockchain technology, you can now also make money playing games that are based in the metaverse. Before we continue, kindly smash the like and subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss out on important upcoming videos. A new play-to-earn P2E business model in the gaming industry may now be on the horizon thanks to the emergence of blockchain-based technologies like NFTs, smart contracts, and virtual gaming worlds. Until now, only the brands, developers, and artists involved in the creation of video games were able to generate income along with gamers who earn money by live streaming or participating in tournaments. With this new system, gamers can receive cash rewards both for playing video games and for trading in-game goods at various online markets. How then is blockchain technology revolutionizing the gaming industry? Blockchain is a digital ledger, or decentralized data recording system that keeps data in blocks that are dispersed among the network of computers. The entries produced on a blockchain cannot ever be changed since these information blocks are safeguarded using cryptographic hashing, a programming process that cannot be undone. Additionally, a blockchain is an extremely transparent and reliable system because all users on the network can see every piece of data on it. The internet-based exchange of NFTs and cryptocurrencies on various blockchain networks is the most well-known application of blockchain technology. Globally, there are about 300 million cryptocurrency users who collectively power a $3 trillion economy that is powered by decentralized blockchains. Several games have included their in-game cryptocurrencies and digital currencies that players may trade to gain rewards while taking part in the game because the use of digital currencies and tokens has become so widespread. For instance, the popular Ethereum-based online game Axie Infinity is based on the blockchain. By participating in the game, players can earn cryptocurrency tokens like Axie Infinity Shards. Then, AXS tokens can be traded on a few cryptocurrency platforms. The game also makes use of NFT monsters that can be purchased, sold, traded, and bred to engage in combat with one another and earn their owners more virtual tokens. Sorare creates a game where players can win Ethereum by fusing blockchain technology and fantasy football. Players can look for Bitcoin and Engine Coin in the 3D action-adventure game Age of Rust, as well as very functional NFTs that also have millions of dollars worth of resale value, due to their great utility across the blockchain ecosystem. One of the first games to mint and integrate NFTs that could be used for things like content unlocking in 2017 was Age of Rust. The following are some intriguing features and applications of blockchain technology in games. All of the characters, skins, weapons, awards, and other components of a video game used to be the exclusive property of the game makers until the advent of NFTs and cryptocurrencies. The rising popularity of decentralized games like Splinterlands, Cryptomines, etc. is changing the situation, and even many established game publishers are bending their rules to capture the largest share of the decentralized gaming market. Before this change, there was no way for an average player to recover or monetize any in-game items once a game was declared out of service or shut down by the developer. Atari, an American video game developer, decided to launch a blockchain division in April 2021 to develop cryptocurrency and digital tokens for their games. More recently, video game juggernaut Ubisoft unveiled a platform called Quartz that would let users purchase a variety of in-game items in the form of NFTs called digits. The digits will be offered as in-game equipment, weaponry, and vehicles. A unique serial number for each digit will be visible in-game. A new game economy is emerging thanks to blockchain technology. Play-to-earn video games, also known as GameFi, a mashup of gaming and finance applications, have surpassed more established cryptocurrency DeFi, which is decentralized finance services in popularity. According to a DAP radar analysis, one or more play-to-earn games are connected to roughly half of the cryptocurrency wallets worldwide. According to Pedro Herrera, a senior blockchain analyst at DAP Radar, 100 million transactions are logged from different blockchain games on average every day, and many of these applications are forming their micro-economies. Furthermore, just like many DeFi applications, blockchain-based games are encouraging users online to engage in P2P transactions. 
game developers can implement regulations for the rapidly growing gaming economy, ensure a fair exchange of digital tokens in their games, and generate additional revenue by levying a fee on various in-game trading activities thanks to smart contracts, digital agreements that are stored on blockchain. Blockchain technology has also enabled developers to create even more immersive virtual worlds, or metaverses, where users may engage in virtual reality experiences and exchange virtual goods in addition to playing games. The fact that 58% of game developers have already begun adopting blockchain technology helps to explain the growing developer adoption of the technology. The terms of drawing in new players, the play-to-earn gaming concept, has proven to be a big success in 2021. Users can even buy and sell virtual properties in some blockchain-based metaverse games like Decentraland and Sandbox. In Decentraland, the game's native cryptocurrency, Mana, is used for transactions and NFTs are used to confirm the ownership of any virtual goods. A Decentraland land parcel sold for 2.1 million euros in November 2021. Mana cryptocurrency was trading at 4.06 euros per token after the news, up from 0.07 euros at the start of the year. This new blockchain-based gaming ecosystem is luring not only regular players, but also investors to join the gaming economy because of its rapid growth and earning possibilities. One of the most well-known games in this market, Axie Infinity, has made $2.5 billion in sales and is presently played daily by 1.8 million players. It is built on the Ethereum platform. Is a complete decentralization of the game business feasible? In the application of blockchain technology, the gaming sector is already divided. The biggest digital game distribution network, Steam, put in place a new regulation in October 2021, prohibiting game publishers from releasing blockchain-based games on the site. This choice infuriated many crypto fans and businesses like Space Pirate Games, which was eager to launch its new NFT-based game on Steam. Tim Sweeney, programmer and CEO of Epic Games, a platform that competes with Steam, tweeted shortly after Steam announced this new rule. Epic Games Store will welcome games that use blockchain technology provided they follow the relevant laws, disclose their terms, and are age-rated by an appropriate group. Nevertheless, there are several other difficulties that game developers must overcome to make the gaming industry blockchain-friendly, regardless of whether a platform expresses interest in blockchain games or not. How, for instance, will game designers ensure that games stay democratic? avoiding situations where, say, a newbie but affluent player would not purchase up all the crucial in-game items such as firearms, skins, and accessories, and wind up defeating skilled but less well-off players. For instance, Ubisoft is addressing this issue by making its digit NFTs cosmetic only, so they have no bearing on the gameplay. To support the high volume of transactions on their blockchain networks, game firms would also need to build out extra infrastructure, which might take a lot of time and money. NFTs are a blockchain-based invention that many gamers are still unfamiliar with. Therefore, the widespread usage of such technologies in well-known games may make it harder for new players to get into gaming. Making sure blockchain games, gaming platforms, and decentralized markets are interoperable is another difficulty for developers to overcome if they want to give players the convenience of trading their virtual in-game currency between different games and platforms. Whether certain of these games violate laws against gambling could be another problem. For instance, the UK Gambling Commission is presently looking into Serare to see whether the business needs an operating license. Even while the NFT and cryptocurrency markets are expanding at an astonishing rate, it is still too early to say whether or not these blockchain technologies will be effective in the gaming industry. However, because of how much it has the potential to revolutionize the gaming business, its use will probably continue to grow. Final Takeaway DApps are proliferating and establishing a new P2P economy devoid of monopolistic corporations and centralized power. They serve a wide range of purposes from productivity and finance to gaming and entertainment, just like traditional web apps. The majority of these applications are housed on the Ethereum blockchain. But as smart contracts and blockchain technology in general advance, DApps are well positioned to do the same. There you have it for the video, how optimistic are you for the future of games? Let's have your thoughts down below. To ensure that you don't miss out on any crucial upcoming videos, please click on the like, subscribe, and post notifications buttons. Alright, see you in the next video!